and floating production system is there it is FPSO, FSO, FSU, FPS is floating production storage and offloading, FSO is floating storage and offloading, FSU is floating storage unit. So these are the terminologies uh, which FPSO that is ship in, uh, with this drilling arrangements is been used commonly. It's FPSO and subsea vessels Again, this has nothing to do with HVAC, but just for your understanding, I'm explaining uh, what does it mean, and how it looks like, and how the pipeline has been laid over here, and how the oil gets collected over here. It's been shown over here. Then this is uh, nothing but a tension leg platform. This is again one of the type of uh, platform which is commonly being used in industry. And uh, this again can drill up to 2000 uh, meter. And in the water depth is again, as you could see, is quite deep. So this some um, uh, structure looks similar to semi-submersible, if you see, but it's a bit different. And uh, this is also been used in some of the with the technological advances. So someone says that tension leg platform, you can understand what does it mean. And uh, it eliminates most of the vertical movement of the structure. Being, if you see, the legs are triangular in shape. Uh, so it helps sometimes uh, considering of course a lot of designing happens over here so tension leg platform is also one of the uh, type of the platform and there is a SPAR platform or some sometimes people have SPA platforms over here and they have also their own advantages over here and again the construction is different and they can work up to the 1700 meter uh, deep water so uh, this is a vertical cylinder kind of an arrangement uh, which helps the platform to give the stability. Again, SPR or SPAR platforms are not uh, much or very common in the industry. Yeah, so again, this is again not a part of an HVAC, but you should understand when someone says what is SPAR platform. So these are the SPAR platforms.